What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm on Toxic Gaming today, people. Today, we're going to be going over the Beware of the Brothers Paradox deck profile that we have going on for this channel. This deck list is a deck list that came up by Ursus from the Speed Duel League Discord. If you guys want to go check it out, definitely go check out the Discord. Link is going to be in the description down below. Uh, this deck is actually really, really interesting uh, and my favorite skill of all time from the Midterm Paradox box. Keep in mind, this is from Midterm Paradox boxes. Storefronts are getting them because it is October 5th. Uh, so some might be selling them early, but it does come out tomorrow, October 6th, as I am uh, recording this video today. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into this. Beware of the Brothers Paradox, like I said, it's my favorite skill. What it does is if you have no cards in your extra deck, which we do not, uh, you can reveal one Gate Guardian, Sui Jin, Kaisi Jin, or Saga the Sunder in your hand or flip this card over. Um, so once it's flipped over, you get this effect. Apply the following skills. You can normal summon level 7 monsters for one less tribute. You can tribute summon one level 7 monster face up in addition to your normal summon set. So both of those skills are absolutely insane. So you can the normal summon, your Kazi Jin, your Sui Jin, your Sangha, and in this case the Barrel Dragon, uh, for one tribute. Uh, the same turn that you summon that tribute, because you get to, get to 7 as an additional normal summon. That's absurd. It's a normal summon, essentially, uh, of a level 7. Uh, so the downside of this skill is your opponent takes no effect damage. So you can't play like Zoma or Wheels. And then the last effect is you can only attack with one monster each turn, but that monster can make a second attack of monsters during the battle phase. So that's that really does become the downside to this part of the skill right here, but I don't think it's necessarily that bad. Again, I think this skill is my favorite skill, and like I said, this is the uh, deck that Ursus has come up with that's floating around the Discord right now. I highly recommend checking it out. All right, start us off. We're playing back Black uh, Terra. So if you don't know what this card does, I would be surprised because I didn't either. Uh, this card is actually insane. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard except by being destroyed by battle, return it to the hand. Yep, pretty good. So you tribute it off and then it comes back. Uh, Break of the Magical Warrior is a amazing card. This is our 3 up for the deck because we are playing the Niagara ban list. Uh, 2 Golden Ladybug, that way we can continuously gain life points if need be. You can use it as tribute fodder for your level 7s. So you gain life points, summon it, tribute it. Um, and then we play three of each piece because it's how the skill works, uh, being the Sui Jin, the Kazi Jin, and the Song of the Sunder. As this deck develops more, I could see these losing more uh, copies of itself from the deck. Um, and then we are also running three Barrel Dragon because it's our best removal card for level seven monsters. Solar Exchange is awesome for this deck in my opinion. So in the scenario that I'm thinking, you reveal Kazi Jin, use Solar Exchange, tribute your opponent's monster, summon the Barrel Dragon as your additional normal summon, use the Barrel Dragon, get your two heads because you're amazing at the game, pop another card, summon your Breaker, use your Breaker's effect, pop another card because this was your additional normal summon, like I said, it's absolutely insane. And then for whatever reason, we're back on Jar and uh, Pharaoh's Treasure. This was a deck or a combo that was really big during the um, uh, Viral Despair format because that deck would mill you out. So what it does is that Jar returns five cards from your graveyard into the deck and you draw a card. And Pharaoh's Servant says you can target a card in your graveyard. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you, you just get to add it back to your hand when you draw this card. But you have to shovel this card face up into your deck to do this. So, yeah, that becomes the issue, right? But no matter what, this just keeps you from decking out, which is kind of cool. The side deck is really cool, too. Uh, two Gymnast. Um, the deck that I was originally running around with actually was main decking this card, so I could definitely see people playing it. Uh, two Doomlord, uh, more monster removal, one Jinzo, and then the third Ladybug. So, and then you don't play any cards in your extra deck because your skill won't work if you do. Alright, so this is a perfect example of how this deck works. It really is. So if you're going first, obviously this hand is like a little worse. So what you do is you just reveal this, right? Gain your 500, normal summon it, tribute it because your skill gets flipped up after you reveal one of your pieces. And then because you go first, what you do is you summon one of these, more than likely going to be the Sangha here. And the reason why you go for the Sangha is because he has the highest attack and he will make your opponent's monsters attack at zero as a quick effect if they decide to attack it. So your opponent will lose more damage. You don't have any follow up here, but this is the best you can do. Um, if we were going second, we would have went for Barrel Dragon here, so that would have been really nice. Resetting the deck here, we're going to go ahead, special summon this in attack mode. Um, like I said, we are going second. So this is a lot better here. By uh, revealing the Sangha, we can now normal summon the Black Terra. And then use our effect to tribute the Black Terra for the Sangha. And then Black Terra's effect will activate when it's sent to the graveyard. This will return it to hand. So we got the normal summon this for absolutely free. Then we'll set Treasure Chest. Probably should have uh, gained the 500 as well. 
So that would have been really nice. And then, uh, yeah, during our opponent's turn, we'll just treasure chest. Pretty cool. Definitely into the deck. I think it's really, really neat. Definitely, uh, if you have any of your own suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, but other than for that, I hope you all enjoy your day. Leave a like if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you guys next time.